Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> it's good to see you all. Mm. <laughs> so today we'd like to talk about releasing judgments through, through forgiveness. forgiveness. <laughs> <laughs> Almost forgot the forgiveness. Mm, <laughs> the most important part. Yeah, the most important part. <laughs> yeah, and just thinking, um, I felt like I've been very judgmental on myself. Well, that's ongoing. <laughs> that's part of the training to let go of all of that. Um, and it's just been quite, it like seems to be that I get into these loops of stuck in real judgment. Things are not right. I'm not right. Situation's wrong. I'm doing something wrong. Someone else is doing something wrong. And nothing seems to be going right just purely because, because of the judgments in the mind. And we were just thinking about that as well because at Christmas there can be a lot of judgments to come up. Um, so we're gonna have an opportunity to, to look at that together. Um, but as always, we'd like to start with a prayer. Would you, would you like to start to read yeah. that? So this is from Lesson 243. Today I will judge nothing that occurs. I will be honest with myself today. I will not think that I already know what must remain beyond my present grasp. I will not think I understand the whole from bits of my perception, which are all that I can see. Today I recognize that this is so, and so I am relieved of judgments that I cannot make. Thus do I free myself and what I look upon, to be in peace as God created us. Father, today I leave creation free to be itself. I honor all its parts in which I am included. We are one because each part contains your memory and truth must shine in all of us as one. so many beautiful parts in that <clears throat> that yeah we can't see the whole we can't see the whole picture but yet our judgment we think that we see the whole picture mm. and we know we know what's best in that <laughs> yeah it's like the complete like trap yeah we're always thinking yeah that I am right about whatever is going on and mm. it's like we're only watching from one this, perspective. like, yeah, it's just like mm. these glasses, mm. distorted glasses. Mm. And then, of course, we're going to see everything that we don't like about mm -hmm. ourselves projected outwards or something. Yeah, completely. You know, I was thinking about everyone, it's like Christmas, and it's like, do we have the turkey? Do we have the duck? <laughs> do we have carrots? Mm -hmm. Do we have cabbage? Do I invite so and so round? Should I go round there? Oh no, they always do that, so I don't like their behavior and I judge them for that. And so it's like this time of year that there's all this, there's all this beauty as well and, and, and we love Christmas, but yet there's always this like undercurrent. Oh, there's been these grievances over the year, right? Are we gonna talk about them? Are we not gonna talk about them? Right, not gonna judge, even though I'm gonna judge inside. And so, we thought about that for everybody to really be able to clear um, your mind as to if anything's going on um, around any situation that we actually don't know the full picture. Mm, and I just love that part that you found in the course. Mm. It talks exactly about that. Like mm. we can't judge 
That just seems like something so hard because it's like we're just judging machines on everything. Oh yeah, I like that. I don't like that. That's nice. Mm. He's doing something wrong. <laughs> That's stupid or whatever. Like mm. all the time or yeah, she's prettier than me or yeah, I'm not good in like all this all the time, all the time it's happening and when I read this part, it was yeah. like oh, like a relief, like, okay, I, I actually cannot judge. Yeah. And that feels a lot better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so we'd like you to, if you do have anything practical in your mind, like something that, that, that you've got a judgment around that you want to, that you want to look at, you're judging a situation, someone's wrong, you've been unfairly treated, you've been excluded, whatever you feel. If there's any judgment there, in any scenario, just think about that situation now. And you feel that you've kind of worked it all out and you're making it, you're making a judgment that you're right. Mm. <laughs> and if you haven't got any judgment there, that's okay too. You don't have to try and find anything. And let's see what Jesus has to say about that. And we're just going to go into the manual for teachers. How is judgment relinquished? The aim of our curriculum, unlike the goal of the world's learning, is the recognition that judgment in the usual sense is impossible. This is not an opinion, but a fact. In order to judge anything rightly, one would have to be fully aware of an inconceivably wide range of things, past, present and to come. One would have to recognise in advance all the effects of his judgments on anyone and anything involved in them in any way. And one would have to be certain there is no distortion in his perception, so that his judgment would be wholly fair to everyone on whom it rests now and in the future. Who is in a position to do this? Question. Who except in grandiose fantasies would claim this for himself? Yeah, so if you're just thinking about your situation and it's like we can't see the whole bigger picture and he's saying you, you, you can see the past, the future, the present, you can see the whole thing, then you can, ju then you can judge it <laughs> and everybody's going to be fairly treated in that hole because that's, that's the right use of judgment. Um, is, is that correct? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I feel like we're just like in this healing path in the world, like just a healing path, like everything comes up just for that. Yeah, but we think that we're right when, we, when we're judging all the time. It seems so real. Of course, I'm right about this situation. Mm. I'm completely right. But yet, as he talks about, you haven't seen the whole picture. So how can you be right? Mm. But yet it feels so real and you want to hold on to that. I want to hold on to that. And he just goes a little bit further. He says, it is necessary for the teacher of God to realize, not that he should not judge, but that he cannot. <laughs> <laughs> In giving up judgment, he is merely giving up what he did not have. He gives up an illusion, or better, he has an illusion of giving up. He has actually merely become most, more honest recognizing that judgment was always impossible for him he no longer attempts it this is no sacrifice on the contrary he puts himself in a position where judgment through him rather than by him can occur and this judgment is neither good nor bad it is the only judgment there is and it is only one god's son is guiltless and sin does not exist. Mm. So any <laughs> Stephen's rather <laughs> 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 
thank yeah. God for that. <laughs> like, I just really love this part. Like, and in this judgment, it's neither good nor mm -hmm. bad. It is the only judgment there is, and it is only one. And it's like, there is only one judgment. God's Son is guiltless, and sin, sin does, does not, not exist. exist. So, innocence. Yeah. <laughs> and that's it. Innocence. <laughs> period. That's it. So when you see that annoying family member that always gets on your nerves, <laughs> you can use this. God's Son is guiltless and sin does not exist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that is the only judgment that we can have. Isn't that wonderful? Over all the judgments that we're making all day long, thinking that we're actually making judgments, mm -hmm. but in fact we actually can't, because it's, it's of the ego, it's not of the real mind. Mm -hmm. And the only real judgment, God's Son is guiltless, and sin does not exist. Mm. So whatever you're seeing in your brother is completely and utterly not there. Mm. And you're just making it real in your own mind. It's a, it's a, it's a relief. Yeah. That we cannot judge. Mm. <laughs> I just really love that. It's like, I can feel like even in, in this relationship, like all the time, like I'm projecting and projecting and projecting and... It's just so wild, like... It's just like such huge opportunities to heal. Like, it just feels like so much like another person is just like getting on your nerves in every way possible like everything that you never wanted to see it's coming up and i feel like like that has been happening for me and god it's like okay now it's okay now it's like where the rubber meets the road it's like okay now it's time to practice forgiveness like in that moment where it feels so hard and I, I feel like this is very valuable for me right now. Like, you found a lesson that talks exactly about that because it's like in this forgiving my brother, like stop pushing, like, see, you're treating me in a way that I don't like, you're treating me, I'm being unfairly treated. It's like that's showing him, yeah, you are guilty, I am guilty and it's just like no innocence whatsoever. It just gets forgotten instantaneously. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> God, you're giving tons of opportunities. Yeah, that's it. That's my job. <laughs> Yeah, but it's like we're just walking through it, walking through it every time. Mm. And I think that's the value. Like that's the healing happening. Yeah. So. Well, that's the important thing about having the purpose up front, though. Yeah. <laughs> because, you know, it could be easy to, to blame, but it's like, yeah, this is coming up for a reason to be healed. Mm. That's the only purpose that you we know, have. You know, we were listening to a talk yesterday, last night, and what's his name? Thomas? Keating. Yes. We were listening to this talk and hmm. he was saying, yeah, sometimes you have like this beautiful moment of peace and joy and love and it's like, okay, now it just feels like this dark thing is coming <laughs> up and it's like, and he was saying like, yeah, it's all right. Like this thing that you have hidden in the unconscious all this time is ready to be released so that it can be replaced by, by peace, by love, by that happiness. It's like you have like this package in mm. a box mm. and it's like, okay, take it out. Mm. And then that love can come in and like feel it, 
mm. in the most precious way. Mm. And that's uncomfortable a lot mm. of the times. Mm. But it's like, when we get to that point, like I'm at peace or I'm just happy, it just feels like everything is worth it. And that's what I want to remember. Mm. Like, yeah, this is, this is just something passing through. And it's being replaced. It's just ready to be let go of. That's mm. why it's coming up. Mm. Yeah, really. That feels encouraging, mm. actually. Mm. Yeah, I really like what you said, um, that underneath that grievance, when we let that up, it's like the love's there. And if I just allow that in and just keep going down to find the love, to release that judgment completely, that is my only task of that to come up so it can be let go of, mm. so I can actually see my true nature. And so it's worthy of giving it that time. Often it feels like you want to push it away because it feels uncomfortable. Yeah. But when it comes, it's actually a gift to show you that the love is underneath all of that. Yeah. And that it must pass through. Yeah. Mm. And then it feels like it's a good inquiry, it's a good, good use of time to investigate into that so it can be plucked out of your mind to see, to see the truth. Mm. Mm. Should, should we move into the other exercise? Yeah, yeah. I would like that. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So we would like to share this with you, an, an exercise, if you feel comfortable. Yeah, it's like we're really into this practicing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we and we get to <laughs> like practice this is, together. Yeah, <laughs> like if you feel like giving your all into this practice with us right now, yeah. like you're very, very welcome. Like we would just want to join in that. <laughs> mm. So part of the practice is thinking of someone that you, you possibly have a grievance with. And if you feel comfortable, you can close your eyes and go into that. And I'll read us through this um, lesson in the course. Yeah. Let me perceive forgiveness as it is. Today we practice true forgiveness, that the time of joining be no more delayed. For we would meet with our reality in freedom and in peace. Our practicing becomes the footsteps lighting up the way for all our brothers who will follow us to the reality we share with them. That this may be accomplished, let us give a quarter of an hour twice today and spend it with the guide who understands the meaning of forgiveness and was sent to us to teach it. Let us ask of him. Let me perceive forgiveness as it is. Then choose one brother as he will direct and catalog his sins as one by one they cross your mind. Be certain not to dwell on any of them, but realize that you are using his offenses, but to save the world from all ideas of sin. Briefly consider all the evil things you thought of him, and each time ask yourself, would I condemn myself for doing this? Would I condemn myself for doing this?
Let him be freed from all the thoughts you had of sin in him. And now you are prepared for freedom. If you have been practicing thus far in willingness and honesty, you will begin to sense a lifting up, a lightening of weight across your chest, a deep certain feeling of relief. The time remaining should be given to experiencing the escape from all the heavy chains you sought to lay upon your brother but were laid upon yourself. Let me perceive forgiveness as it is. Let me perceive forgiveness as it is. And when you're ready, taking your time, you can you can come back. I always love this practicing together. I just feel so much <laughs> released when we do it with everyone. <laughs> and now we're just practicing this mm. forgiveness together. It's like the one mind. Yeah. Mm. And that support, I feel that support from everyone together. Like, okay, we're raising this up yeah. with one another. That we like, don't have to hold on to these things. Like we're rocking together. Yeah. Yeah, completely. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we only have five minutes left, and I don't feel like I've got many words left now. <laughs> <laughs> that exercise was I've, just like a I've let go of all judgments. <laughs> that was a task. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Th this week, um, I found this really wonderful lesson um, and I thought wow this is th this is a this is a real Christmas gift mm. that's what I thought but this is the real gift I found the real gift here oh, is that the one that you showed me yeah I shared it with you oh. yeah. so I'd, I'd, I'd love to sh I'd love to share that with everyone so you can sit back and relax and enjoy this I thank my father for his gifts to me. Today in gratitude, we lift our hearts above despair and raise our thankful eyes, no longer looking downward to the dust. We sing the song of thankfulness today in honor of the self that God has willed to be our true identity in him. Today we smile on everyone we see we walked with lightened footsteps as we go to do what is appointed us to do. Thanks be to you who heard, for you become the messenger who brings his voice with you and lets it echo round and round the world. 
Receive the thanks of God today as you give thanks to him. For he would offer you thanks, you give, since he receives your gifts in loving gratitude and gives them back a thousand and a hundred thousand more than they were ever given. He will bless your gifts by sharing them with you. And so they grow in power and in strength until they fill the world with gladness and with gratitude. Receive his thanks and offer yours to him and you will realise to whom you offer thanks and whom he gives thanks. You are thanking him. This holy half an hour given him will be returned to you in terms of years for every second power to save the world eons more quickly for your thanks to him. Receive his thanks and you will understand how lovingly he holds you in his mind, how deep and limit limitless he cares for you. How perfect is his gratitude to you. Remember hourly to think of him and give him thanks for everything he gave his son that he might receive above the world, remembering his father and his self. So, thank you. Thank, thank you. you, Ken. And thank you. <laughs> thank you, everyone. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> 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 this is the best bit. <laughs> 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 yeah, have a wonderful day. Thank you. <laughs>